So, when we last gathered, the party had become apprised of a situation in which Roselia expo explained the many, many, many different types of crystals that the party had in their possession. Afterward, the party relinquished all of what they deemed they didn't need anymore. And after that, Zell was pretty much ordering them to go take some time off because they're more tired than what they were willing to admit. Before that took place, however, there were an assortment of suitcases and containers that happened to hold some of the belongings of their former comrades, who, through explanation of a note left by Korra, have passed away and are dead, because they decided to take the adventure into their own hands and tackle the challenges of an unknown world. And as such, they paid the ultimate price for that. Yashua was upset over the news, but he did his best not to let it show. But once that was sorted out, Henry and Mask, who we now know as Zen, they had a conversation and a reestablishment of their agreement. And uh, through unyielding perseverance, uh, the party is now working towards not only finding a way for Zen to get back home, also trying to figure out a way to lift that curse from his bloodline that prevents his current generation from having children, and trying to bring his wife into this plane of existence. Though, once that was all said and done, Diablos very briefly ripped away Henry's autonomy from his body, and now his current time limit before the possession is complete is one week, four days, and eight hours. Once that was all said and done, their hostage that they took with them from their previous encounter was wrung dry of all of the information that they could get out of him, and once his usefulness was done and over with, he was tossed through the hell gate and he is presumed to be dead. After that, Henry, Yashua, Dreva, and Perry, through her magical treasure chest of transportation, made one last stop for the night at Cuban shop, asked if they had anything new, to which the answer was no. And it was taken aback by Henry's cursed predicament. And he asked if Cuban could do his magic reading test. To which Henry's gray changed from a C plus to a Z. As long as his brand new magical uh, book is attached to him. But when it is removed, it is at its regular letter grade. And when they made the stop at their hotel for the night. The receptionist was scared half to death because of Henry's curse, to which he apologized for it. But then everyone checked in for the night. And they got a good they got a good night's rest at the hotel's bathhouse. And now our story will continue opening up with everyone waking up for the morning and meeting in the front desk area. Before that before that, I'm going to go make a quick trip to the kitchen and grab some Windex because my glasses are dirty, BRB. Oh, okay. Uh <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So, Andreva half stumbles out of her hotel room looking very well rested, but at the same time, physically looking like she could use maybe about four more hours of sleep. 
Perry is gonna like pop out of her treasure chest and try to scare Drava and just ah. Uh, okay. Um. I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, roll for for the sake of this. Let's just say that like her back is turned as she's closing the door. Mm -hmm. Uh, please roll in. Roll deception. Ooh. Okay. Uh, that came out better than expected. <laughs> Alright, you <laughs> jump out to spook her and she goes, oh, whoa, oh, oh, hey, uh, morning. Good morning. Uh, how did you sleep in your treasure? Did you even go into a hotel room? Did you even get in the bed? No, no, there's no need. I can, I can fit. You know, I just kind of bring my legs up to my chest, and I fit, I fit quite nicely. It's very snug. I keep, I keep warm. Yeah, I'm good in there. It's okay. I also save money that way. You know, I don't have to pay for the bed. More money for alcohol. It, it works out. Drava peers over into your chest, and she thinks to herself, "There is no way I, I, I would fit in there like that." You know, you just have to do some stretches. I do yoga every morning, and you know, as she's saying that, she's like stretching her arms from side to side and like bringing her leg up to her chest and just stretching it out. And she's cracking the entire time like an old lady. <laughs> Dreva looks at you and she says, "Oh wow, you are really flexible. That's, huh? I you remember when I used to be that flexible." Just a cat thing, I guess, you know? And she's, like, patting her little cat ears and brushing out her cat tail. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh... That's the difference between you and I. Or one of the many differences, obviously. I am hungry, though. Do they serve food? Will you buy me food? Um... I'm pretty sure we can get something to eat here uh i can ask at the front desk if they have like a kitchen or something we can use Ooh, breakfast meat i'm coming out of my room okay and the moment i step out i trip and land face first onto the ground <laughs> okay <laughs> very smooth uh, Dreva is going to look over at you are you sleepwalking or something morning you're not a morning guy got it no i just didn't sleep at all oh this floor is real cold now feels nice I'm, I'm i'm pretty sure the floor is nice but and as she says this she whips up a small wind spell with her finger and uses that to put you back on your feet I don't recommend sleeping on cold hard floors Yashua just dusts himself off and you could tell that he looks a little depressed because from what he found out about yesterday right yeah you get used to that sort of thing in the military right and other things Where's Henry? Is he still sleeping? Uh, good question. We have still sleeping. <laughs> we haven't gone to go get him yet. Knocks twice. Knocks three times. You just hear snoring. Knocks four times. It, Dreva walks over. Is he not waking up or something? Leaves a bag of gill on the counter because I'm about to kick the fucking door down. <laughs> you know, you could you could just pick lock it, you know. She got a point. Immediately kicks the door down. Damn. Oh well. <laughs> Hold on, strength roll because I want this door to go flying. Oh. Okay, go for it. And oh my god. 
Your first roll is a nat 20, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. Describe how you're eviscerating this door, brother. The, you know what? Instead of just kicking the door down, I do the one-inch punch. You know, like Dante does to the monolith in DMC4. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. This completely disintegrates the door. All right. Uh, before you progress with what you're about to do, uh, please subtract 1,500 gil from your total. Oh, yeah, I will. Okay. How much money do you have that you can just go around <laughs> leaving money to destroy doors? <laughs> oh, my God. Here, let me use my calculator. Oh, I have 60k so far. Oh, my God. I had more before. You had to buy out the whole room for it. Uh, oh, yeah. I, yeah, you were there for that, where I bought the entire stock of a, yeah. of uh, a winery. Well, that's why I'm like, how much money do you have? <laughs> I have a lot. Riku, it's time to do something about that. Don't worry. <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry about a thing. <laughs> Trust me, I just don't spend my money all that often. I only spend it on necessities. Like doors. <laughs> right, like doors. <laughs> like doors. And wait, how many barrels of wine do I have in my inventory? 9,997. <laughs> yep. It's about oh the entire God. fucking stock. Which, Riku, keep in mind, I'm actually planning to use all this for an attack. Okay. Oh my God. Damn, that's a lot. That's, that's, that's going to be a lot to clean up. Damn. You're about to take out a whole city, dude. No facts. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually planning to create a tsunami out of all this. Oh my god. What the fuck? Okay. Okay, so yeah, I subtracted the gill. Alright. Doors disintegrated. Perry's hair is kind of like just standing up on her tail. Like it's all fluffy now. <laughs> All right, this guy's cursed. I can't really touch him, but I can <laughs> shoot him. <laughs> but I can uh, shoot him, though. So in the whole shock of the moment of the door slamming open, I just wake up and cast the spell. Oh, <laughs> uh, what spell? Let's see. We'll do... You're not... You're immune to electricity, if I remember. Resistant. Okay, you're resistant. We'll do spark. Okay. There. Damn. Oh my god. Wait, how is it that for your first roll, <laughs> yes. it's the polar fucking opposite? Oh my Dude, god. Trust me, Chris and I are like this. Either he's lucky and, and I'm not, or I'm lucky and he's not. That is crazy. Oh, how do I get my uh like token back on the thing instead of the chest, by the way? I don't know how to do that. Um go into the upper right hand corner where the newspaper icon is. Uh just click your character name and drag it onto the map. Oh there we go. Yep. Thank you. Hey, so you're shooting spark at me? Yeah. Okay. Can I just you know sure just hit you? I think it just goes flying all over the place. Well, given, well, given that it's well, I was a... gonna say, if you're shooting spark at me and you did a real bad roll, I was gonna just slap it away from me, just yeah. like, what the hell? Yeah, I, I was gonna say that. Given that it's a it's a nat one in a non combat scenario, you just kind of like, just flick it away. Yeah, I just it just like smack it away like it's a bug. <laughs> it's there. Do I have blanks? Uh, like blank rounds? Blank rounds? No. Okay, fine. I'll shoot him with fire one. He's uh... a man. He has magic resistance. Huh? It's okay. I'm going to shoot him in the leg. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. I'm going to pour an entire barrel of wine on your head if you don't wake up. That sounds like a good time. <laughs> 
Well, I I'm... am awake, by the way. Can I still pour the barrel at him? No. Unless you want to spend the time cleaning that up and paying for the damages. No, I won't. Okay. <laughs> While Yasho is walking away, Henry just picks up the pillow and throws it at the back of his head. Can I roll to catch it and throw it back? That would be sleight of hand, yes. Oh, boy. I have to roll a strength throw to throw it at <laughs> No, no, no. Yes! I uh, I, I don't want to blow off your head, dude, with a pillow. What? <laughs> Let's say... Oh my god, you got another fucking 20, dude. Okay. So. You catch the pillow. And in the literal blink of an eye, you do a 360, and as you are spinning, you fling it back at him like it's a shuriken. And it hits him in the face. And Henry falls off the bed. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, during that whole scenario, Dravo was rightfully laughing at the two of you. And when she finally finished laughing, she walked over to the front desk and asked if there was a kitchen that could be used. To which she was told, yes. And because I do not have a, a, a map icon to just be a kitchen, let's just say that you all go into the back rooms or the area behind the front desk and Drava makes a pretty solid breakfast for you all. Nito. Wifey material. I I will help with breakfast. Are you saying the wifey material part in character? Wifey material? No, I can tell that was not my accent. What? <laughs> 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 sort of like the senpai guy. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, out of character. Okay. <laughs> Perry's like, um, she's just kind of just like doodling in a journal of hers and not really paying attention to the breakfast being made or anything. Okay. She's she's grateful, though. If you give her any food, she will be saying thank you. All right. Uh, let's see. So for breakfast, we're going to use some of the food items that are in Yashua's inventory. And I'm going to have... Oh, what's in my inventory? Me. Uh, you, for food items, you have vegetables, meat, salt, a couple of different spices, potatoes, carrots, and stuff like that. Some fish, some fruit. Let's fucking go. So I'm going to have Drava roll. Let's see. Let's do... Here, let me help her cook, too. Survival. Okay, if you're going to do that... Uh, after I have her roll nature, mm -hmm. roll intelligence. Okay. Intelligence. Okay. Damn, that was almost a nat 20. Almost. Let's burn our food. Jeez. <laughs> Alright, so about, let's say about 30 minutes go by and Yashua and Dreva bring back to the table a very large plate that has an assortment an assortment of well cooked vegetables a couple of eggs some sausages bacon one very very large fish for you all to eat <laughs> And in Java's other hand, uh, a secondary bowl of well-chilled fruit that looks like, well, to Henry and Harry, it looks like she casted Blizzard on it. Yashua knows she casted Blizzard on it to give it its misty, chilled-looking uh, appearance. Ew. And... 
Perry's wiggling her fingers like she wants to grab everything. Ah, fucking typo, of course. And she's definitely gonna go for the fish first and break off like a good chunk of it and just start eating it without any silverware, nothing. Just with her hands. I'm typing out the food buff effects right now. Sad face, I can't correct myself. Don't ask where we got the fish. I don't want eh. <laughs> should I should I be concerned? <laughs> no. 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 Uh, okay. I think we should. How long have they been in your bag? <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, they, well the fish, fish was in fire. suspended animation for a while. It doesn't decay when it's in stasis. Yeah, I, I did tell him that uh, for his inventory, since he has a digitizer, things do not go bad. There you go. Bacon. Mm. <laughs> temporary HP, defense, speed 1, and 100 EXP. Is everything temporary or just the HP? Just the HP. Copy, copy. Wait, what? So that's a permanent buff? The defense, the defense and the speed? And speed. Yeah. Okay. That to total HP or just your HP plus a hundred? Uh where you have um temporary hit points at a new sheet, that's where that one hundred would go. Okay. Oops. Oh, I don't think I knew we were tracking like EXP. Uh, oh wait, no, I have it. Never mind. Yep. I'm not sure if I would track it from the past fights, so. Uh. Hang on, let me see. Oh no, because we gained total levels for the past fight. So yeah, so, it, so it's 100 exp and 50 of that to the subclass. Uh, in, in this instance, no. Okay. I was at 1k for my main class mm -hmm. and then 500 for my subclass. I don't know if that's where I was. I guess that's where I was supposed to start. I just don't know if I was supposed to add to that. That sounds about right. Yeah, it, it's right. All right. Okay. <laughs> just making <clears throat> sure. It was 20 defense. Okay. So, and as you all are eating, the head chef approaches you all and comments that uh, he the head chef is kindly asking you for your recipe for what you use to make this breakfast for everyone I uh, sign Drava to ask if it's okay to give the recipe and she looks over to you, uh, midway stuffing a larger than what she should be, a uh, piece of fish in her face, and she just nods. And, yeah, I uh, write down the recipe for the chef and just give it to him. All right. Does our subclass get half of that? Nope, not this time. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> so, think you... ev everyone's eating, but Yashua's plate is already empty. Like, you never get to see him eat, it's just empty. Like, 
He already eaten. Man, so I can inhale that shit. Oh, well, as far as we know. But, yeah, um, boy, hungry. So, after about another, let's say, 20 minutes of eating, uh, you all finish all the food, clean your plates up, uh, clean the area where you all ate, put uh, all the utensils back, put everything that wasn't used back in Yashua's inventory, and as you all are about to step out to resume your mission that has been taking place, uh, Yashua gets a phone call on his tombstone. And when you answer it, it is <laughs> Cynthia and Zero speaking to you at the same time. Morning, you too. Hey, uh, morning. Where are you guys right now? We're, we're about to leave the hotel. Is everything okay? No. Um, there was a note left here, and uh, that weird fucking sword that Mel took for herself, she left it here. And it's acting pretty, pretty f weird. And we want you guys to take a look at it, at it, as the soon sword. as possible. The sword is sentient. We don't know. It appears to be sentient, as far as we know. Uh, it is just surging with energy, and none of us can get close to it. Yashua sighs. I'll I'll be right there. All right, and then uh, there's another situation that needs taken care of, but this is more important since we know this thing is cursed to some degree. I glance at Henry. Yeah. yeah so if we'll we... we'll head on over ASAP. All right. So from there. Oh. Uh, the phone call ends, and Draper looks over there. Yashua, what was that all about? Zero and Cynthia are calling us over to meet them at the bar. Uh, something is wrong with the sword, apparently, and it's cursed to some degree. You, I look at Henry, you have nothing to do with that, do you? Henry just looks around like, I was asleep. <laughs> right. I should, yeah. I don't know. Curses and magic. Weird stuff. Hey, I may be a black mage, but I'm not the cause of everything. <laughs> Dude, you are the first suspect on my list, all right? <laughs> well, Diablos, then it's you. Anyways. Gather your things. Let's get a move on. We should get there as soon as possible before things get more troublesome. Okay, if you say so. So from there, <clears throat> everyone uh, double checks the equipment and they make their way back to the current uh, base of operations. So let me move everyone on over. Let me stop playing that. Uh, where is it? Is this? Is this that next to me? All right. Okay, so you guys enter inside of the operations base, and in the center of the area, you sure do see uh, that sword violently sparking out and reacting very strangely. 
Perry's gonna take like a step behind Drava, kind of just sink behind her because she's obviously like not a fan. <laughs> okay. Henry screams out, "Mask, what's going on?" Uh, when you speak out to Mask, he does not respond. But when you physically look over to him, you can see a what appears to be a bubble with some rune-like inscriptions floating around him and it looks like he is in a state of very deep meditation yeah uh let him finish whatever he's doing so henry since you're already cursed you want to go see what it. you want to go see what happens when you touch the sword double negative mm, this we'll is turn into good. a positive well we were told before that it's not the same demon. Oh. Should I do it? I'm asking the party. Should I grab the sword? Uh, Drava I'm... says, I don't see anything wrong with it. Yasha yeah, shrugs. Eh, let's see what happens. I don't think that's a good idea. I, I love how you're standing like right thing. there at the front. I mean, uh, uh, it's your body, your choice, I guess. <laughs> All right, so you are grabbing the sword? I'm thinking. <laughs> this could really cut down on my life. Uh, bef before he actually puts his hand on the sword, I'm going to do this. I'm going to place a shiny... I'm sitting in front of it with my legs crossed, thinking. I cautiously put a shining word on all three of us. <laughs> Harry just looks back at them. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I care less about you, and I care more about them. Henry asks Rosaria, is this a good idea? <laughs> um... Her response is going to be that I don't know, but if two varying levels of curses come into contact with each other, I don't think anything too bad would happen. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm gonna have to disagree. <laughs> Uh, for your safety, I recommend everyone standing behind me. Don't have to tell me Just twice. Looks at the sword. And then looks back at all of them like, really guys? <laughs> Just stay within the barrier. And when you look over to... <clears throat> When you look over to Zeril and Cynthia, you can see that he already has up a small wall of nano machines protecting him. Smart man. What was the green demon's name? Raphael. Shrek. Oh. <laughs> Shrek. Shrek. <laughs> Ask Raphael, what exactly is this sword before I touch it? I think you're asking the wrong person. You should be oh, asking God. her. It's her sword. Wait. Uh, hmm. No, no. I'll I'll have uh I'll have Raf answer. <clears throat> I'm sure she's still up cold too. From when I touched her. That too. <laughs> kind of fucked her completely at this point with the double curse. We saw how that went last time. So, uh, Raf says, "Well, um, when you're uh." Your red-haired friend came here while you all were sleeping. Uh, she left some of her belongings and that thing and the little piece of paper she had on it. All it said was buy and it didn't have much else on it. Then again, I'm not the best at reading human language. Um... 
but a few hours after that, it began uh, sparking and letting out a bunch of thorns, and you couldn't really get close to it because uh, the closer the humans over there got to it, they suddenly started losing the ability to breathe or something like that. And then when I tried picking it up, he raised his left hand, it burned a lot of skin off my hand. And it really, really hurt. So, and that's why I didn't bother touching it again. And then one of the other guys in the, um, what you humans call suits, I, uh, he tried picking it up and he fell unconscious. So, uh... You still want to touch it, Henry? Yeah, this thing is pretty, pretty weird. Yeah, let's see. One sec. As a precaution. I mean, I don't think Mel would have left anything, like, dangerous for us, right? I mean... That's not what our last ally said when they betrayed oh. us. Well... You know, what do I know? You know, I'm just, uh, I just don't think you should touch it, though. I don't know. But, I mean, maybe she left it as, like, a gift, you know? It's like a magical short sword. I, I, I don't, I don't know. Not, not, not the kind of gift I would give to anyone. Well, I, I don't mess with the magic stuff, you know? I've got my little daggers, and I'm good with that. But you, Can I you use too. Critical Libra on it? Say that again? Can I use Critical Libra on it to identify everything before I touch it? Yeah, sure. Let's see the details of this damn sword. Alright. Hmm. There you go. Oh, I forgot to give you the fucking name of it. Holy crap. Lock Henry gold. grabs it. <laughs> okay. Alibar. So, when you lay hands on it, grip it, you find that it is not as heavy as it looks to be. And you almost have half a thought to maybe swing it around a bit and as you do that I need you to roll a constitution save oh God. and yeah. a, a, appearance wise for the sword uh, I should have took a fucking a screenshot of of it prior to this but I didn't think about that till now this one yeah hang on one second I don't think I feel comfortable letting Henry swing that thing around I'm here <laughs> I'm, I'm sending you an image of what the sword looks like in just a moment Okay, if it's a uh, sword that looks like a scythe, I'm gonna laugh. No. Uh, please roll constitution, uh, constitution save one more time. Giazzo. Wait a minute, where have I seen that before? It's from Final Fantasy XIV. Ah, when you were swinging that thing around. Dude, that thing looks dope. It's dope. This thing is huge. <laughs> All right, so when when you're finished like toying around with it and whatnot, 
as you are about to say something, the sword begins shooting beams of energy all over the place. And some of them do hit the Shining Ward barrier and Zero's Nano Machine barrier. And it almost begins to move on its own. And as it is moving, it aims itself at uh, at Zen. And when that beam of energy connects with his bubble shield, it breaks. And he looks over to you and he says, Oh, that's where my illusion went. It's in that damn sword. Also, why is there a light show going on right now? Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, you want to explain, Henry? Uh, first sword, your illusion, help. <laughs> uh, okay, so for starters, why not try putting both hands on it before you take my head off? Henry puts both his hands on it. I got a better idea. Why won't you put the sword down and leave it alone? No, I'm holding it, and I slam it into the ground with both hands holding it in place. Okay. Now, when you do that, I am going to ask you for one wisdom roll and an arcana roll. Okay. Now, the longer you maintain your grip, your grip tightens. And before long, you feel energy coming out of you, but flowing into the sword. And it's kind of like a... Like a revolving door kind of thing. So you're not losing, but you're not particularly gaining anything either. And before long, the sword stops shaking. And it appears to have relaxed. As when you pull it out the ground, it is no longer attempting to be sentient. So, is this safe enough for me to take down the ward? Um, this is Draven speaking. Um, I'm going to say and take a big risk and say yes for now because it appears everything is relaxed. And Rosalia is going to speak up and she says, wow, that was very, very fascinating. Uh, do you feel any different? Um, do you maybe feel like something's off or do you maybe feel better? Like, tell us what's going on. I feel nothing. Like, nothing at all? Nothing at all. Does that mean I get to have a turn? I want to swing it. I want to swing it. I, I don't think that's a good idea. What are you trying to say? She's just going to, like, cross her arms and, like, sit crisscross on the ground. <laughs> Obviously throwing a little bit of a tantrum. for your safety. Do you... Unless you like playing with fire. Do you like playing with fire? I mean, I like warmth. Warm do you sun. like warmth? Do you like getting burnt? Do you like getting hurt? No. Why do you assume I would hurt myself? <laughs> did you... Did? Ah, uh, uh, my goodness. Okay, you know what? Henry screams out, quit it, you two. <laughs> I'm never going to play with the swords. Okay, 
So Zero, still with his nano machine wall up, he approaches Henry and he says, "Well, I I have no idea what you did or what happened, but it looks like you got that thing under control." And for, I suppose, and this is not the right time or person to be using this with, but for safety's sake, you should hold on to that. Three while still holding it with two hands, plus one hand. Sounds good. <laughs> Waving one hand. All right, so that potential crisis aside so uh you want the annoying news or do you want mission related news annoying news <laughs> yeah let's get the annoyance out of the way first so we could have our heads cleared for the mission <sighs> all right so the annoying news is that your friend Mel just decided that she was going to leave and not really leave a proper note about that. So we're down one person. But given that you all are strong enough as is, it's probably not going to be a problem. But the more, you know, hands we have on deck, the better. That aside... The other bit of annoying news is that those crystals that you all forked over, uh, they're going to need a bit more time in the refinery before they're actually able to be crafted into weapons. Take all the time you need. Okay. The final piece of annoying news is that we came across some intel and said intel is more or less the soul liberation bastards they are making moves and advancements much earlier than we anticipated that they would and as such they are as we speak Progressing towards the main central area of the city. The district, rather. And this is where the mission news comes in. We found a spot to intercept, but we lost contact with some of our men that we sent over there. And we don't really have the time to reallocate talents and coordinates again and so your initial mission of doing recon has now been changed to an assault mission i will give you the directions on where you need to go and from there it is your judgment on how you will deal with the problem harry just looks at him how is this my issue uh taking time bomb here did you forget the part where not only do you live here, um, we're trying to get rid of them so we can get rid of the curse as well? I have to find the leader. And how do you think we're going to get to the leader if we don't pick the rest of them off one by one? That hasn't been working up to now. You do realize we're dealing with a, an entire cult here, yes? We're literally running a large-scale assault, borderline war, hopefully it doesn't get there, on a terrorist organization? Harry just looks at him, and you just lost to a cursed sword. To be fair, I never touched it. <laughs> I don't know, but it sounds pretty cool. You know, I came from the alcohol, but... Now I'm kind of intrigued. Kind, I kind of want to go see what it's about. 
Sorry, Henry is more used to solving these problems by glassing an entire city, not picking enemies off one by one. Forgive him, will you? He just goes over and starts drinking. Listen, my whole life has been picking people off one by one. So this is like up my alley, you know? Though, though I do agree with Henry that this progress, it is quite slow. We're going to have to pick up the pace. Well, you have me now. Let's go. I'll kick some butt, you know, do what I have to do. I'm usually not confrontational. I usually let other people do it. But when I do do what I need to do, it goes pretty pretty, pretty quickly. So I think we should go. And Zell, in response, with a slight hint of annoyance, says, Well, excuse us for not wanting to eviscerate where we live. Thank you. You know, it's, it's not just that while this is a big problem, there are also other people that we have to take into consideration here. Because where well, else yeah. are we going to go if we glass this bitch? Well, yeah, that's why we have protocols to follow. Yeah. Evacuating our... every civilian possible. And I understand that. We have protocols too. But this district is much much bigger than it appears to be so a wide-scale evacuation plan isn't going to happen at the drop of a hat henry with his rum in his hand hurry up and tell us where to go i have limited time <laughs> cynthia walks over to the conversation and she adds in, look, I get you don't want to be possessed. And I understand that no, from you a don't dimensional understand. aspect, we do things differently. But have a heart, damn it. Henry screams out, you do not understand. Yeah, sure, I mean... just size steps up. Run me the details and location. Zero in his slightly growing frustration uh, just pulls out a piece of paper and not like he doesn't shove it to you, but he jets his hand out with a very annoyed expression. And he says, when you get out of here, go south. Follow the map. Would yeah. Perry uh, know, like, what area they're going to? Yes, she would. And she Does would she also... like this area? <laughs> uh, you have been to this area before for a very small uh, in info-gathering contract. And you mm -hmm. also know of a hidden uh, tunnel... To use to get to that area faster. Was the tunnel like near us already? Yes. All right. Um, Perry's gonna go over and kind of like peek over his shoulder to look at the map and just go, "Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I told you guys, you have me now, and I've got us. I know I've I've been here. I've been everywhere, but I've definitely been here." Yasha looks at Zero and just sighs. Listen, I understand you're going through something that's frustrating. I've been there too. Moments where you're doing your absolute best and have little to no control in the situation. I understand that. I've been there to different planetary systems with similar situations. It isn't easy. But you know what? In my eyes, you're doing, you're doing well. Keep at it. Aww. Friendship. So cute. <laughs> Zell doesn't say anything in response as his back is turned, but you look over to him and he gives you a, a thumbs up. So he did, he is receptive to what you heard him say. I mean, to what he heard you say.
And Draver so speaks up. Like him. Uh, uh, say what you were uh, gonna say. Yeah, I was gonna say. Good soldiers like him, are very, very, rare to find in a galaxy. Let's get a move on. Uh, who's holding like the map? I am here. Well, I didn't even have to snatch it. Thank you. Uh, so, like I've said, I've been here. Uh, and there's a way to get here a lot quicker than, than the streets, actually. Alright, lead the way. Uh, with that, is is the is the secret shortcut, does it, like, take them underground or anything? Or is it just, like, through back back roads or something? Uh, you will be very briefly going underground. I do not have an. I do not have an underground map that would accurately represent it, but I do know how to how to describe it to you all. Cool. Uh, with that, then Perry will lead them through whatever back roads and whatever she needs to to get them to that underground portion. All right. So, you all. Uh, follow. Oh, and the, the whole time she's also talking about herself, just pointless stories the entire time. Like, she gives no one any room to speak about themselves or to say <laughs> anything after. She's just going on and on about uh, her childhood, which is just minute things that don't even matter. <laughs> uh huh. Henry shuts her up by giving her a bottle of rum. No, she's still talking. She'll, she'll take a swig, but she's still just talking about herself the entire time. <laughs> You see Yasha materializing some headphones and just listens to music. <laughs> she doesn't even notice because she's so just into talking about herself that she does. She doesn't even care. And Dreva is the only one of the bunch uh, actually paying attention to what she's saying. Every so often, she'll look at Dreva for you know affirmations and <laughs> for her to nod. You know. Mm-hmm. All right, so before long, or rather, let's say about about 20 minutes of walking, you all make it to uh, Perry's shortcut. And Drava very kindly interrupts her and says, wait, this isn't... I know you said you had a shortcut, but according to the map, we're like very very far away from where we're supposed to be what you don't trust me no it's not that we don't that i don't trust you it's just we kind of went in the complete opposite direction but if you say you have a shortcut i'm willing to use it you know i know you're not from like around here but not everything is always as it seems right like her treasure dress. I pulled and... down my headphones onto my neck. Duly noted. Did you have those the whole time? Did you hear the one part about my dad? And then, ne you know, never mind. Just. Oh, with that, she's just going to open. Uh, is it like a manhole? Like how? I don't know how they're getting underground through a cave or what? Uh, please roll perception to see if you remember where you left oh, your no. shortcut marker. Oh my God, if you don't remember, I'm going to laugh. Ah. I have a zero modifier. <laughs> yeah, but you got an 18. I know, that's so lucky. So, you uh, break your attention away from Yashu, not the corner of your eye. You can see a couple of what appears to be fireflies dancing around uh, this area of the map right over here by this manhole. Or rather, what appears to be a manhole. A ventilation shaft? And you, when you notice it, you immediately sprint over to the area. And you double check to make sure that no one uh, potentially messed with it or not. So, 
or jumping in there. Uh huh. It's kind of kind of stinky. I'm sorry. I should have probably warned you not to wear your good shoes today. Hmm. I'm more concerned about the the height of the drop. Well, it's not that far, right? I can't see what's down there. Drava, at the mention of you saying that you can't see what's down there, she summons a ruin spell in her hand, and she drops it down the hole. And you can see just how far it goes, and it's not a dangerous type of drop or anything. In fact, uh, you actually notice the rung of a ladder that you can use to climb down. Mm. See? Perfectly safe. Alright. I'll go first. Alright. I don't use the ladder. Well, I do it. I do use the ladder, but like instead of climbing down, I just, you know, slide. Uh-huh. Just slide down the ladder. And from there, I just pull out my... What is it? What was the armor crusher and assault rifle? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, I pull that out and just, you know, secure the area, make sure there's nothing hostile around where we're coming down. Alright. Uh, Drava, she summons just a small orb of light to have a light source around her and Perry as they walk. And Henry, your Kaladbolg sword, uh, is it, where is it physically on your body? It's on my back. Okay. Uh, it is acting as a small flashlight behind you. And you can, albeit it's very weak, every time you walk and take a step, you can feel the vibrations of the water behind you. Quite intense. Okay. So you guys are trudging through the shortcut, making sure, constantly keeping your guards up, just in case something may pop out at you. Perry's gonna start, like, acting kind of scared and look around and say, Did, did you hear that, Drava? Did I hear what? Did you hear it? And then she's going to try to scare her again and just, like, <laughs> jump at her. <laughs> uh, please roll deception again. <laughs> uh, so she looks over to where and what you were pointing at just to get another brief jump scare and uh i missed that she almost drops her little ball of ice and, ah, girl what is wrong with <laughs> damn it whoopsies henry turns around and says i thought perry would be the scaredy cat per i'm me i'm not I, I mean sometimes depends if there's actual things to be scared of then yes there's nothing scary down here, though. I've been through here. It's not scary. It's a little dark and a little damp, but it'll get us where we need to go, so. And this isn't yeah. the first time I've... This is Drave talking. This isn't the first time I've been through a cave or a tunnel of sorts, but that doesn't mean I, f I, I like them. You know, it seems like your first time. You seem like one of those first-time people, you know? You just got that era about you, that aura, some might say. Well, Joshua chuckles. Uh, fun fact, this is actually my second time doing the whole adventuring thing since I quit after the first time when I... Um, well, why'd you quit the first time? I watched my teammates get mauled and eviscerated in front oh, of me. Sorry I asked. <laughs> and... Well, on that note, <laughs> she's going to kind of walk up quicker because she feels really bad now about asking <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna stop scaring you <laughs> so 
So after about another, say, 15 minutes of walking around. How long is this damn tunnel? You can, in the distance, see uh, a source of light peering through on the other side. Oh, ta-da, we're here. And she's gonna open up the map for everyone to see and be like, well, we went from here, and now we should be here. Hmm. That's quite a shortcut. You're welcome. Alright, so once you all make it to the source of light, uh, I'm not going to have you um, put yourselves outside the area where I'm going to tell you to put your tokens at, but at this at this great one, I'm about to ping for you all. That's where your tokens will be. And the closer you get, um, someone, anyone, doesn't fucking matter, uh, please roll perception to see if you see or hear anything of note. Ang My perception. I shall. Ang's bleeding us anyways, though. So it would be best if he does it. Okay. So, the closer you get to what appears to be the exit, you can very briefly hear a little bit of a conversation. And this conversation is as follows. Uh, <clears throat> we've almost got this checkpoint secured and before long we'll have everything else belonging to us and from there we can start trudging forward to take out that bitch she's the biggest thorn on our side for all of our plans and once we get rid of her the rest of this place is easy pickings I signal everyone to come near me and explain that I spotted some hostiles. Uh, Wait, did I hear these hostiles or did I spot them? Uh, you hear them. You did not see them. Okay. Well, how do we know the hostile towards us? Well, I'm, go I'm going to assume that the lady that's giving them a hard time, as they called so kindly called her a bitch i'm going to assume it's frankie i hope not because i really like that character please place your tokens on the left most side of the map oh my god this map looks so familiar they're about in the middle Dude, deadass, I swear there's a Mass Effect 2 map. Alright, right here? Yep. Cool. Wait, so you think they're talking about who? Frankie? Who? Francesca. The owner of the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of our lovely little hangout spot. Well, why would they be talking about her? Well, she owns the entertainment district. Well, she runs district? everything in the entertainment district. Oh. Fancy. Yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, political fights going on right now. And Draver chimes in. Yeah, uh, apparently, in addition to all of that there's some guy that we still don't know about who has been trying to uh usurp everything that's been going on like he's been trying to take um francesca's spot in the city since 
I, and I and I don't necessarily remember how many of them she said there were, but there's I believe like six different heads of the city that control things, and mm-hmm. he has specifically been trying to take her spot. Oh, hmm. okay. And we like we, we like Frankie, right? We we fight for Frankie. Hashtag. Yeah. Hashtags aren't a thing in this world. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we uh, we came here from a village, and Frankie is an, is an associate and a very good friend of a woman named Angela. And she she was the one who sent us here to help out with the problems going on, and hopefully, this will help us get closer to getting back to where we came from. Doesn't really seem like it helps him lift his curse at all now, does it? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, should we ambush them? Uh, well... Do we have... Do we have sights on them, or not yet? Uh, please roll... Roll insight. Because, Yashua, you can still hear someone talking but you don't know who that someone is. All right. So, of the voice that you heard, you managed to connect a voice with the body, and you attach it to two different beings. One being this drone-like apparatus in front of you, and the red-haired woman with what appears to be a green energy sword in front of you. But you you can't tell which one is the real owner of the voice that you heard. Did the sound, did the voice uh, sound robotic or did it sound normal to me? A combination of both. Fuck. Whatever we do, we need to make sure that they don't see the secret tunnel. Because I don't think they know about the secret tunnel, and we don't want them to know about the secret tunnel. Okay? So, we need to get out of the tunnel before we do anything. The answer to that is simple. Neutralize all hostiles. Oh. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's an option, too. Uh. Though, is that? They're using e-weapons. Okay. This will get interesting. As that conversation took place, uh, Dreva is looking around to the outsides of the area to see if there are any other vantage points that you all can take. And she looks to the left, and just past this billboard over here, she sees a platform that is currently housing a, a canopy point with a turret. And she quietly motions over to you all. Um, so I see a little platform over there, and... I'm not sure if they know about it or not, but given that this looks like those really cool sci-fi security checks I see in movies, or I saw in movies that I watch in my dimension, um, it's probably used by the guards, and we don't see any thing that looks like a guard. So maybe... It's automated. Maybe we can use that? To our, did you say automated? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I hope it's not actually automated. It's automated. Usually, security systems like that don't need security personnel to run them. Well, seeing how shit, seeing how technological this place is, it's most likely automated. But that's no but that's no issue. Well 
going based off of that, if it is actually automated, we should probably keep that in mind, but the curious woman in me wants to go over there and mess with it. Oh. Yeah, sure, thanks, before he says anything to continue. He, he like, stops his train of thought and actually thinks on something different. You know what? I have a better idea. Though, do any of you carry important electronics on you? Uh, would Perry have anything in her chest? Uh, your phone, or your tombstone phone, but for Perry, that's really about it, as far as electronics yeah. go. No, no. Okay. We're gonna ambush everyone, and we're gonna take them out as soon as possible. Okay. I'm interested. How exactly are we going to go about- wait a minute. You're gonna use that pulse thingy, aren't you? Right? I think it's a good time to use it. Oh boy. We don't know what kind of security systems they have in place. Or what kind of traps they have in place, so you might as well kill all the lights. That... Everything here is going to go dark, including their weapon systems. Yeah, you've got a point. Like, pitch black. Pitch black, maybe. I hope I hope you guys are good at fighting in the dark. I know I am. Uh, can, like, Miko Te people, like, see in the dark at all, like, normal cats? Um. That would be very it, helpful. <laughs> it is limited, but you can see in the dark. Okay. Perry, like, just shrugs then. Well, if that's really the move you want to make for it, okay. Automated weapons are really difficult to evade. And I've tried. Alright then. We are going to lose communications with the outside for a little while. Since our phones are going to be completely drained or tombstones well I, I would say for at least i don't know eight hours uh yashua remember henry and i have a lightning magic we can just recharge our stuff yeah you could but you don't want to fry the circuitry do you well Given that I only know, and what, what the way it was explained to me, given that I only know level zero lightning magic, I don't think I would, as you put it, fry the circuitry. All right. In that case, I will rely on you to recharge our devices then. Okay. Is everyone ready? Oh, I guess. All right, let's do the EMP disruptor. So the way I'm going to do this, what is this, a, a device I, I could just throw? Yeah, or... it, it's like a, um, it's like a frag. So you... Take out the pin, press the button, and you chuck it. And when you do that, the following image that you all see is a very, very large sphere of electricity engulfing the place. Perry's going to be behind Drava, like... 
covering her ears and closing her eyes because she's scared. Fuck, I just thought of something. I'm a fucking idol on. This is gonna feel weird. Huh. <laughs> Forgot about that part, did you, buddy? <laughs> so, because of that, or rather, because of the makeup of what you are, your first round of attacks are going to be dealt with disadvantage. But, after you release the EMP, the explosive, no, the electromagnetic explosive goes off. Uh, pretty much all of the lights are killed. It is incredibly dark, but Perry was able to make a very quick mental note of where everything or where all the adversaries were located and you can hear your enemies in front of you screaming we're being ambushed we're being ambushed take your stations and from there fighting time since these two have energy swords they're disabled <laughs> they're completely disarmed uh yes they are actually as i just played the wrong song I'm not quite sure if these droids have magnetic interference resistance. Keep your eye out on those. As far as you can tell, the droids are still operational. Now, okay, I... those droids are up, but yeah, they're operational, but they could be, you know, weakened. Yep. I do believe Yashua will be going. First, does uh, does anyone have two hundred and fifty five speed? No. Uh, no, I have two hundred six. Okay. Or, sorry. So uh, I'm going first. <laughs> right before I swing into action, Yasho is like holding onto his head for like a brief moment. Ah, uh, this this is sure gonna give me a headache. Uh, Jerry Technosis, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just EMP bursts like this tend to give me a, a headache. Are you a robot? Something like that. Well, oh. biomechanical, actually. What? Not fully robotic. Huh. That really feels weird. I... S I have no idea how my brothers could get used to this kind of thing. Ugh. I feel sluggish. It's fine. Just give me like a few minutes and I'll be fully operational. Gonna start with this one. Actually, you're disarmed. I'm gonna start with you. I don't care. It's the first turn. Hmm. They can't see us in the dark, and obviously we can't see them, so... I know these two's locations, but I don't know the other two. Yeah. They also... They have no idea where you all are. Because Ooh. they got hit from... They got hit with an EMP from seemingly anywhere. Reminder, don't show them the secret tunnel! Get out. Get out of the tunnel first. Just gonna drop on the conveyor belt thing. And that's one action. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, so is this a platform they're standing on over here? Uh, No, that's, that's solid ground that they're standing on. Okay. Okay, so it's solid ground, but is it like a... Like... Do I have a view of where they're standing? Because I have something in mind, but I don't think I'll be able to do it depending how the makeup of the map is. Uh, rephrase that just a bit. Okay, so you say this is solid ground, but is it like a platform where, like, we're like from where I'm standing, am, am I able to get a clear vantage, like a line of sight from where they're standing? Or is it like a complete 
second floor kind of thing. Oh, um, where you are, you are above them. So, yes. Wait, I'm above. I'm so lost. Okay, hold on. Okay. Am I really above them? You're not like above above them. Like you see where these stairs are on the map. Like where where I'm clicking at. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. I understand now. Okay, dude. This. Oh my god. This map is weird. Okay. I get you. Alright, so I'm gonna use the the whip cord that our armors have. Mm -hmm. Kinda wrap it around this person's neck and pull her up silently. Mm. Gonna need strength roll for that. I'm gonna do like uh the the hitman kinda kill, the execution. Uh-huh. And if she starts struggling, just, you know, swing her against the wall or something. Okay. So, you got a pretty tight grip. Uh, you have... I'm not gonna say you completely whisked her away, but do you see this wall type thing I'm pinging yeah you pulled her and as you were pulling her closer to you you slammed her into that Ooh. all right that was mm. two actions you know what I'm gonna spend my last two actions slamming her against the wall two more times oh my god <laughs> all right uh, bonk, that's, bonk. that's gonna be two more strength rolls. Alright. So you continue slamming her against the wall. Uh, again, they, for a time, still don't know from what direction it's taking place. And so it, it looks like she's just being pulled by something, constantly hitting the wall. However, because you have such a tight grip, you are considered tethered to the enemy. So up until you decide to let go, or the enemy dies, you cannot move from that spot. Hmm. But can I climb towards them? With said tether? As in, like, close the distance? Yep. Because mm. it functions like a grappling hook, doesn't it? Right. Yeah, okay. But, okay, since you're going to do that, you can only move in that one direction. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Okay, got it. So, yeah. Wait, fuck, I respent my last two turns. Okay, never mind, I'll do it next turn. All right. Next up is Perry. Uh, how much can I move during a turn? I forget how far. Uh, you can move. What was Because I, I, I have a teleport, but I don't know if my teleport is, like, more than what I can move per turn. Uh, I believe your teleport lets you move up to 15 feet at once. Mm -hmm. But as far as, like, typical movement... Uh, about 30 feet. Man. It's shorter. I guess it'd be good, though, if I'm teleporting somewhere high. Uh, in that case. Can I make it to this chick? Oh, is that the one he's tethered to? Yep. Oh, <laughs> Never mind. I forgot to move her. 
trying to make it to this guy over here. Uh. I don't know how to do the thing to like check distance. Uh, that. So that's about 60 feet. That's double your movement speed. You can spend uh, two actions to make that uh, that large of a movement, if you wish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, then I will be... Is he facing towards me, like in the picture, or is he facing away? Uh, he is facing in your direction, but he doesn't know you're there. Could I still sneak attack him? Yes. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna sneak attack. Oh, hey. Alright, I will put a an icon on him to represent that the sneak attack was successful. Uh, let's use... Yeah, let's use that. Hoping that I could get an energy sword for loot. Um, I'm also gonna shadow sting him. Alright, where is my calculator? Okay, so I was. Okay, you used four actions thus far. Um, and I'm just gonna also do my work. Okay. Okay. You have dealt 1,105 damage to the enemy. Woohoo! Nice. -oo. And because it is still dark, uh. And oh, do a... I need to. Sorry. Do I need to roll the, the extra damage for the 1d4 for the sneak attack? Uh, no, I did that already. The oh, okay. the one d four is how is how much longer they'll be yeah. taking uh extra damage. Yeah, I didn't know if you had rolled it. Okay. Yeah, yeah I you. did. I did on my <laughs> side. Uh, they will be taking five percent more damage for three turns. Okay. All right, it is now Jareva's turn, and because she can't really see in the dark uh she is going to just jump out of the hiding place but do it in a direction where she thinks she won't be seen and as such i'm going to roll where is uh melee attacks are things with Either a physical weapon or by just using your bare hands and feet. But all, uh, all of your attacks I... are considered uh, melee. So do, does that mean I get to roll for the like stealing gill and items and stuff? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Do I roll it three times then since I did three attacks? Yeah. Or just what? I forget how to roll. Uh. It's uh... Slash, slash R. Yep. Okay, let me see. So with that uh, stealing roll, you have swiped let's see, four and two threes. You have. So it's all still low quality items. Yeah. So you swiped. Yeah, you swiped. I keep forgetting to like use that when I attack. So I'm, like One... trying to reread all this stuff. You swipe one high potion, Yay. um, one kind of like broken chip knife, and you stole uh the necklace that he was wearing, but it's kind of a shitty necklace. <laughs> I'll put that metal. in my notes: a shitty necklace. Scrap metal. Alright, so um. So Drava jumped down. You're welcome. She jumped. She jumped down. She was not noticed by anything, and placed off of her distance. Let's see. And she is going to set her sights on this drone that is pretty much right in front of her. 
and she is going to fire off an arrow barrage uh fira or fira and then let's see okay, so the thing is on fire uh its weapons are not disabled so let me add that up real quick Okay, so that was one, two actions. Then she's going to spend an action to move into melee range. And she is going to use Serpent Slice twice. And then with her last action, she is going to cast... I, I just tapped out of it. She is going to cast uh, Shellara on Perry. Ooh. Thank you. Let's do one. Plus. Okay, Java has dealt 1,264 damage to the drone in front of her. And for the sake of uh, an icon source that Perry is taking this magic damage, I will put that there. All right, Henry, it is your turn. You there? All right. This oh, Discord wait. maybe is messing up again. I, I see him moving. I don't hear him. Yeah, same. You guys hear me? We can now. Yep. yep. Okay. It was my headphones again. Okay. Uh -huh. So I'll move behind these computer servers, and then I'll cast Critical Libra five times on everything in the room. Does that include teammates? No, all the enemies. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, you don't have to cast it five times since some of these are seemingly the same, and Please. your movement action costs you one. So you only so you technically only doing it four times. Okay. All right. Do I have to click it four times, really? <laughs> no, no, no. No, nah, just click it once. There. Yeah. So everything gets identified in the room. As an observer of my character, I feel bad for this character. <laughs> it's like getting strangled. <laughs> Nobody even knows. She's at a Travis Scott concert. She doesn't even know what's going on. You said Travis Scott, girl. <laughs> Too Damn. soon, sorry. Damn. <laughs> she getting suffocated, bro. Travis Scott's still performing. This guy sends me a message saying I get five stars on GTA just to feel wanted. Bro, why are you sending me this? See, I would like to, you know, have conversation, but we kind of blew, I kind of blew up our communicators as well. 
Literally, though. I mean, you can have I internal mean, thoughts. It's, it's no big Perry's, deal. Perry's never had one until now, so she didn't really give a shit if you blew it up or not, because she's like, I don't even know how to work this thing, so... Yeah, plus, like, with how close Perry is, and still don't know where she is, uh, you can, like, talk shit to the dude right in front of you. you make ghost noises. <laughs> Whispering into their ear. <laughs> Imagine you're whispering this to their ear. I've been trying to reach you about your car extended warranty. Oh my god. <laughs> I have a real good vantage point now looking at the map. Are you like standing on a thing? Or. So apparently, I, I'm at a higher uh, position. Yeah, that looks like yeah. a drop down. Like it looks like. Yeah, it's... yeah, I thought so too. Like I thought this was like a conveyor belt or something. Yeah, but then, yeah, like it goes down. But then, but then Riku mentioned the stairs. I'm all like, oh, okay, so the map's upside down. Got it. Oh, I get it. <laughs> like I turned my head sideways. Well, technically, it's not even upside down because Sector 5 isn't upside down, so. Like, I'm literally on, like, on top on the machinery at, like, higher elevation compared to everyone else. Alright, there you go. So, security drone... Has built-in bio sensors, eh? Mm. And Common when pressured. And only he like knows this information, right? Yep. Gotcha. You all can um so Henry knows the intricate details, but uh after any after after any time anyone uses Libra, uh, everyone can see the enemy's health and all that stuff. Okay. So they could cut through Shining Ward. Mm, no. Energy sword could cut not through. really. I said it cuts through MP, not barriers. Hmm. I'm just worried about the cyborg sentry. <laughs> well, given that you did open the fight with an EMP, they are currently. Not working. Thank God. Yeah, I, I I had to do big brain. <laughs> but no. I didn't even hear you through all, all of that part too, so I don't know if you're like when your microphone stopped working. I didn't do the EMP stuff. Yeah, that was that was Yashua. No, I mean so. like you, I didn't hear you talking though when he did it. Oh no, I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's not I'm like I have any like... electrical stuff, so True. just a communicator. So I can't even communicate this stuff to you guys. You no, nope. blew off our communication. You scream it! <laughs> I I told you that we were gonna go dark. I warned you. Okay, I'll keep the details to myself. You can, however, charge your communicator. Just don't blow it up. got a point it's a um, work one way <laughs> i can't I talk say. to myself during communication also that no but if you like you could go around charging people's communicators i mean Drava's right beside me so she could do the same thing for me or while you're beside perry and you could charge hers oh wait i don't know if she has one no she does all of you have okay one. she has one so yeah you could charge yours and hers next turn not like I have anything else I could do. Alright. So, with it now being the enemy turn, <clears throat> uh, Perry, can you please roll dexterity? Mm 
Like that? Mm-hmm. Alright, so you have a sneaking suspicion that all is not as it seems, and just when you have the bright idea to move out of the way, you just narrowly dodge a bullet. Uh, and the hell? when you look at the shell casing on the ground, you look at the way it's lodged in, and please roll intelligence. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no, indeed. <laughs> oh no! So, you look at the bullet lodged into the ground, and you shout at the top of your lungs, uh, someone just shot at me. I'm gonna take a guess, this is the guy that shot at you. Oh, never mind. Uh, yeah, Perry's eyes are just gonna be widened. Not that anyone can see. And Freaking she's Riku's quick on the draw. <laughs> she's gonna scream, oh shit! See, that's a fucking bullet! And it is a... It is a fairly large bullet at that as well. Oh no. It is... Oh, wow, a, a, a 50 BMG. It is about the size of your tombstone phones. How big oh. is that? F how how big is a tombstone phone? Um, you know your uh, your PS5 controller. Looks at PS5 controller. Yeah, it's about that big. Oh my god! A fifth. Oh fuck! That's uh, that's, bi not, that's, that's bigger than a, a 50 cal. That's like that's that's some next level shit. Yeah, that's not a 50 cal. That's freaking shot you with a 40 millimeter. Someone just tried to take me out. <laughs> Someone tried to erase you. Yeah. Lucky you didn't Thank get that. Thank God I have Dex good decks. Oh my God. <laughs> Cat like reflexes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you just narrowly dodge on the way of that. And the sentry right next to you slowly begins to extend its arms, trying to feel you out in the dark. Oh, take me out to eat first. And as it is doing that, it is slowly rotating its body. And because, again, you do have the capacity to see in the dark, uh, if you wish to just crouch down and duck under him, you can. I will do whatever gets this thing to not fill me up in the dark. <laughs> Surprise this machine sentry thing doesn't have, you know, infrared. <laughs> I am too, but I'm not going to complain. Say something, Rick. <laughs> well, no. The sentry doesn't have infrared, but uh, something else on it does. Oh, something God. else on it. Yep, and once, once Perry crouches down to duck under the very slowly rotating arms, the next thing she hears is target acquired. Oh. Oh, fuck. Uh oh, that's 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 wrong. What the fuck? It's like a robotic voice. Target acquired. Yep. <laughs> and before you can even say anything in response, you are immediately struck by uh, lightning three. Oh. <laughs> I don't- I can't roll for that, like, at my AC, something. <laughs> well, uh... Fuck. Hmm, let's see. Um. Oh, 
I won't I, do this no more. I'll, I'll give you this. Uh, roll a 1d4. Okay. So, in the blink of an eye, you think to move out of the way, and you are mid-process of using your teleport action to escape but you are still you are still harmed but you will not be taking the full brunt of the damage oh thank god because uh because of the eight that the enemy rolled which therefore making the attack a critical uh mm -hmm. instead of taking that 617 you would have taken 926 damn Damn! But because uh, you just barely escaped, um, totaling your defense and all that into the into the matter, is that, and then uh, you are instead taking one hundred and ninety-eight points of damage. After wait, hang on. After defense and all that is applied, and with the inclusion of your AC, you will be taking 179, not 198. So you, you're still getting hurt, but you're not getting as hurt as you could have been. Yeah, alright. That's, that's fine. Yeah, because that this number is also including the 50 less magic damage that you're taking. Mm-hmm. And once, once that series of actions take place uh the cyborg sentry now is permanently fixated on perry as it now knows where she is and where she will move as long as it is still dark love that for me <laughs> okay for the for the blade dancer that is currently tethered to Yashua it is frantically trying to break free of the grip wire around her neck and will continue to struggle for another turn because uh, she's more or less in combination with getting choked out she's also being slammed against the wall which is speeding up that process. Uh, the other sentry drone on the on the farther side of the arena is shaking, and you can just barely hear a motor turning, almost as if it's trying to activate a backup generator of sorts. But it does uh, become. Uh, sharp and jagged on the outside shell of it so you probably don't want to touch it but hey i'm not gonna stop you uh the other blade dancer is just holding her position but she's going to lift her right hand and she is going to just swing outwards in front of her so in in this general direction she is going to swing her hand and cast fire four in the attempt to illuminate the area for a brief moment only fire hey, as far as you know uh they're all in a cult. They don't give a damn about each other. Yeah, fair enough. Please, proceed. Destroy yourselves. Okay, that one is cutting that damage in half. To a three. And then for the illumination process. Alright. So, she casts a fire attack. It spreads out in a fan-like motion. Uh, this blade dancer that is, again, being choked out, 
is taking some damage, but not not too much. Given it's that, not direct. Yeah, given that it's, it, it's an AoE and all that, so regardless of uh, all the other factors, she is taking damage. And you can, for a very, very brief moment, you can see two ghastly figures in the fire before you can no longer see them. And it is now Yashua's turn again. Hmm. Two ghastly figures in the fire. Do we all notice this? Yes. Hmm. Optical camouflage, maybe? So how would they get that to function in the dark unless it's magic? Interesting. Okay, so... I have a question. This uh -huh. here in the center... Yeah? Is that like a pit? Yes. It leads into a train station. Hmm... Gotcha. Alright, so I'm gonna... Spider-Man my way down next to, uh... What is this? Uh, Blade Dancer over here. Okay. But to do that, I'm just gonna, you know, use the... The motor on the... Grappling hook to just swing me in. I don't know if that counts, a, that counts as a turn or not. But, I don't care if it does. Uh, it counts as an as an action, not a turn. Oh yeah, an action. Uh, end up beside her, though I don't know if she notices because she's choking still. Um, well, given that the angle of which she is being choked from has moved, and given that you're right next to her. Uh, she mm -hmm. knows you're there now. Oh, yeah. I want her to. I want her to know that I will be the one that's going to take her out. Okay. So. What should I do with you? <laughs> All right, I got new skills last time I played. Ease. Hold on, let me look at one of my skills quickly because I need to remember what it did. Okay. Oh no. I'm curious to see how much damage I could do in this one turn. Okay, so I need to roll that five times per action. One, two, three, four, five, four, five. That's 25 bullets. Now I'm at 75. One, two, three, four. Five. Another. Twenty-five. I'm just burning all my bullets here. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. Wrong skill. Ignore those three. Or oh, wait. Fuck, I've been... Wait, is this the right? No, 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 no. Ah, oh, man, I fucked up. Hold on. What are you, uh -oh. what are you trying to do? Uh... Bullet dance. The one that you get to roll five times per action. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I did one. Forget the second roll, because that's something else. And that's not the right skill. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And lastly, 
four, five. I burnt all my ammo. I'm at zero. Okay. So you're adding all of the bullet dances except for the prism right the prism caliber rifle. That that's a misclick. They're all misclicks. Alright. So you pretty much go balls to the walls, filling this unfortunate being full of lead. And with each pull of the trigger, it does make a minor flash and all you hear is a burr <laughs> yeah like you, you you hear what sounds like an automatic handgun just going crazy and after each fire you can also hear the ding -ding -ding, the sounds of the bullet casings hitting the ground as well And additionally, uh, the more you fire, uh, the bullet holes that are going through your target, and some are getting lodged in, some are just going straight through her, are piercing the wall behind you, and it is very close to breaking. N not the entire wall, but a substantial chunk of that wall is about to be broken. I thought that I, I thought you were gonna say like the wall is damaged enough for me to do a roundhouse kick her through the wall. Mm, no, not it's, it's not that busted up. Okay, but soon it will be. Now, with your series of attacks, after factoring in the enemy's defense, you have dealt 4,611 damage. Jeez. But... I'm going to spend, like, an, a whole turn reloading. <laughs> with, with all of that firing, you have created enough flashes... To where the other blade dancer knows where you are, and our sniper from earlier has a general idea of where you are. Uh, it cool. is now. Just him, or do, do they know like where the entire room is now? Uh, just him. Okay. Yeah, his his gun flashes weren't that powerful. Mm-hmm. But it is now Perry's turn once again. Um, I forgot to add how much my limit, how much my limit break was last. Oh, that's turn. a good question. Like I'm at after all that damage I did. Fuck. I'm at 253. I forgot to. I don't remember how to calculate how much I did last turn though. Uh, any damage that you've dealt, you would gain 10% of that. So, so, I believe you did about 1,000 and some change. Just add 100 to that. And as for Yashua, you will be gaining 478 points of limb break energy. 478? Okay. Yep. Damn. <laughs> um... I think I found a good way to charge my limit break fast. <laughs> just burn my ammo. <laughs> How much do you need for a limit break? 1,000. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> In that case, I'm just going to use, uh... I'm just gonna warp strike him five times, the guy in front of me. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you... Uh, is that 15 a crit, or...? Uh, that is half damage. Oh, half damage, okay. So, you more or less have the time of your life just constantly throwing your weapon at his chest area, and then catching it back, throwing it back at him again, almost as if you're playing catch by yourself. But also teleporting in place by yourself. 
That's really cool to imagine. Can she steal stuff while doing this? Yes. <laughs> Hopefully. I don't know how much crap this guy's got on him, but... That would be all my steals. Alright, let me add up that half damage Excuse warp me. strike real quick. Bless you. Uh -huh. Right, I've got to factor in enemy defense real quick. You have dealt 1,842 damage to the cyborg sentry in front of you. And therefore you will be gaining 184 points of limit break energy. And as for the things you have stolen, let's see, we've got... Two, a six, a one, another two, and a three. Just robbing this poor guy. So. Oh, mm, that uh, that that six. That's uh. I know. <laughs> I'm like yes. <laughs> Please have something good. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, so we got. Okay, so for the low quality item, you have stolen uh, an ether from the enemy. For the random amounts of gill, you have stolen a total of 3,000. And for the six, you have stolen an. So you stole a key from them, but that key is glowing, it is radiating, and it is made out of crystal. You I also need... stole an additional 20,000 worth of gill from them. Uh, additional how much? 20,000. So in, in total, you've stolen 23,000 gill from this guy. Well, it looks like someone's going to be more rich than me very soon. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that, that crystal key was the rarest thing that the Cyborg Sentry had on him. Ooh, shiny. It is now Dravis' turn once again. And for her action... She is going to finish off the drone in front of her. So let me add that up. And as she is slinging out wind spells one by one, uh, you can feel minor gusts, <clears throat> minor gusts of wind coming from behind you. Yashua and Perry and for Henry based on where he is facing those gusts of wind are in front of him So you know that she is once again just going crazy with the wind spells as At this point you can tell that her favorite element is wind I don't blame her I'm over here just like Yashua is raising his arms just to feel the wind ah More actions. And the drone sentry is defeated. So that is one less enemy you have to deal with. Yay, Drapeva! And, <laughs> and for, <laughs> for her last action, uh, she is going to close uh, a little bit of distance between her and Henry. And she is going to flick a very small uh, spark spell in his direction. Ooh. In my direction. And as for her limit break energy, she is about a little over halfway ready to go. Uh, what, what did you say, uh, Henry? Who did she throw the spark at me? 
uh, she flicked it towards uh, Yashua. Uh, okay. Yep. Uh oh. I look back at her. With like a puzzled expression. She whispers to hold on to that. As in, like, put it in your pocket, hold on to it. I just silently nod and digitize it. All right, Henry, have at it. Oh, okay. But let's see. So first... You could blow this bitch up if you want. I could, but I want to heal Perry just in case. First on that. We don't need another round of her getting hit. <laughs> 600. Uh... I'll use Cure from behind cover on Perry. Alright. Wait, I didn't take the 600, did I? You still took 200. Yeah, you, okay, you yeah. still took damage, but it's not the 600. Yeah, I know. Okay, I was just double checking. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we don't need that yeah, no. huge amount. So, Perry is back at full health. Wow, I really, really got that one. Damn, overhealed. Yeah. You gave you you gave her double the HP. I wish it worked I like that. The part game today. <laughs> 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 Apparently, I'm a tank today. Okay, I'm going to go for the blade dancer in front of Yashua. Okay. Bye. I want to take her as a hostage, so I don't want to completely kill her. Okay. Ah, prisoner of war. Copy that. More of them. We need lots of them. We're, we're, we're going to continue this trend, like every battle after an enemy. It's, it's Pokemon. So, I'm going to cast... Hmm. I use Blizzard on her. I just don't want to kill her. Are you using it as a single target or AoE? Single target. Alright. Uh, mind you, she is, she is still being choked by uh, Yashua. Okay. Could be hanging popsicle for all I <laughs> 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 you know, you you can freeze her. I'm not gonna tell you how, but you can. I can. Mm -hmm. For what? That's for me to know and you to figure out. I'm about ready to just walk up to her and just touch her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll... I'll since, since you mentioned prisoner, I'll give you a hint. Uh, she is currently full of holes, is leaking blood, there's liquid around her, and you know ice magic, and she is hanging. Dude, it's not rocket science. Just freeze her Eternals inside and out. <laughs> oh my god. I did already cast Blizzard. <laughs> Didn't say it froze her, though. Yeah, I'll just keep casting it until she freezes into a popsicle. If hyperthermia, hyperthermia doesn't kill her, then a Shatter Dive would. Ha, <laughs> Shatter Dive. That's a move Dragoons has in Final Fantasy XIV. It's a move I use in Destiny 2 because I'm a degenerate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Is she uh, frozen yet? <laughs> or do I have to keep going? Mm, 
you have currently frozen her arm. The arm that she was using to try to pull Yashua's grappling wire off of her, you have frozen that. Freeze her feet, X. All right. Freeze her, freeze her entire torso so you slow down her heartbeat so she, you know, you know, falls unconscious. I could just cure her. Oh yeah, heal the enemy. Could make them suffer more. Exactly. First I need to make her an ice cube before I heal. <laughs> well, to that note, uh she is mostly almost dead. And at this point, she has completely given up trying to break free. Now that she's at that, I'll give her a cure so she doesn't die on that stream for the rest of the battle. No, she won't die as long as we don't hit her. Okay, she's fine. She's fine. Don't worry. She'll, she'll ha she has enough time to survive now. And think about her life lessons. Think about her life lessons. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she doesn't want you to do some more bullet dances on her. Okay, uh... Henry, with your blizzard castings, you have gained an additional 120 uh, points of break energy. Nice, Sue. 440. Right, I forgot to uh, be subtracting Drava's MP from her actions. Whoops. Glad I just remembered to Drava, do that. Drava, you cheating, girl? How many? Always. Uh, Always. Okay. So with that being done, just Hold be on. <coughs> just before the enemy takes their turn, Henry, please roll a wisdom save. God, that is so broken. Oh, I'm going to do something so broken on my next turn. Uh, Henry, I, on my side of my dice roll, I beat you by one, but I'm not going to say that, like, Diablo's like, hey, buddy. Uh, instead, you feel a minor disturbance in the back of your head. God, I'm far away from everybody. <laughs> I, just, I just crawl up and I'm behind the computer like, stop, stop, stop. You're just smacking yourself in the head. No, like, like, no, no. It's not, it's not that bad. It's, it's like, you know how you have like an itch on the back of your neck? Yeah, it's like that, but it's in your head. Yeah, I'm just there like, stop it, stop it, stop it. All right. So, with the enemy phase now taking place once again, the cyborg sentry that is hard focused on parry is going to take aim with its gun, and it is going to shoot at her. Boo. Do you know how to dodge a bullet with your cat-like reflexes? You know, I, you would think. I'm pretty sure it knows how to curve a bullet at this point. Uh, to 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 dodge this bullet, I what's the speed difference? I need I you have to. Seven. I need you to roll a 1d7. Alright, you dodged that attack. Ooh. Ooh. And I'm a fast boy. it's going to take its right 
arm it is taking one of its hands off of its gun and it's going to take its right arm and it is going to snap its fingers and as that happens a large burst of light emanates from its hand and not too long after that uh, two enemies have now joined the fight Actual. and they are both focused on Perry oh fuck Let me just turn of around course. Spectres? Listen, I got dexterity out the ass. We'll see if they can hit me, okay? Uh, the the white ghast creature is going to very quickly thrust uh, one of its arms towards Perry's left ankle. And as that arm is approaching, you can see what appears to be poison covered in its... <gasps> In its hand. Please roll dexterity and acrobatics to dodge. Oh god. Oh <laughs> no, you acro. fell flat on your face. It's still high, I mean. Yeah, it is. Okay. Could have been a lot higher. <laughs> so... So you have enough foresight to move out of the way, but when you do move, you stumble backwards a bit, and your back is now currently on this terminal. But and, and you just just barely, and I mean by the skin of your teeth, dodge the grab that was heading towards you but for the uh, poisonous energy coming off of it you feel it breeze past your leg and for a split second you lose all feeling in your foot oh that's not good so whatever this thing has it's some pretty bad poison as for the what appears be right to be okay as for what appears to be this wolf like creature in front of you it is going to howl as loud as it can and seemingly nothing happens after that as for the other century drone that it, well, that it's still revving its motors. Uh, as that process continues, it indiscriminately begins shooting uh, sparks of lightning and fire towards everyone else. And while they don't hit anything, it does illuminate the area quite a bit. And after that, the drone is back in an, an operational status but it is still remaining in the same spot uh miss popsicle isn't doing anything because she's mostly frozen and no longer has the will to fight or <laughs> or uh escape from her grasp and uh yashua Please roll uh, insight. Insight? All right. All right, Yasha, you got to live up to your character lore having really good eyesight. Nah, you failed, Yasha. You failed. You failed. <laughs> now roll history. History? Ooh. See, 
My history should be fine. I mean, Yasha knows how to build a Dyson Sphere. All right. You yeah. remember that there was a sniper in the area, and you take a very quick glance over where Perry was, and you take a look at the bullet shell, and you see just how big it really is. And now... I will ask you to roll dexterity. As I look at the bullet, I whistle and say, wow, someone is certainly compensating for something. <laughs> okay, so... As I say that. You say that, and... You, when, when you have the thought to move, you look up and you see the same size bullet careening for your head and you move out the way at the last possible second and you catch the bullet just before it hits the ground. I think I'll hold on to this as a souvenir. Actually, can I throw it back at the enemy? <laughs> yeah, because cause I, I knew you were going to say something after that. And so my next line was, you <laughs> also know the exact trajectory and direction where the bullet came from. Because you can still see the smoke in the air. Oh, you fucked up. <laughs> and for transparency's sake. <gasps> uh, token layer, there you go. Alright. So Yashua does like, you know, finger gun gesture, and he aims at him, pointing his two fingers at him. I need a strength roll for this, right? Yes. If I land another nat 20, I'm gonna lose it. Mm, close enough. <laughs> close. So... I do that little gesture, that little pointing at him with my two fingers, and then I just throw at full force as hard as I can. Okay. So when you throw it, the sniper it does not react in. <coughs> Excuse me. The sniper does not react in time to move out of the way of this his own bullet being thrown back at him and when it collides you hear a very very loud as he is knocked down from his vantage point behind the wall that scared me <laughs> and again for for transparency's sake uh this is the damage roll and what you would have been getting hit by. Let's scroll back up in my notes to get that for you. Right. Yeah, th this is what you would have been struck by if the bullet connected. Fuck. Wow. Yasho is just too skilled. Man, as a hit with the future vision and shit. All oh right. yeah, you 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 can't fool a sniper's eye. All right, so next up, it is once again Yasho's turn. So this guy is knocked the fuck out, I imagine. Yeah. Uh, you are see. going to have to cross the wall to get to him, though. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to save him for dessert. Save the best for last. Is this bot still spiky? Yes. Pink. Hey, is it? <laughs> All 
All right, I'm gonna make. Uh, how do I get inside here? Uh. Well. Actually, can I just grab him and drag him out through the wall? Uh, what the sniper guy you just knocked down? This guy. Um. Looks like he's behind the wall. Well, or no, he, he's he's standing in between uh the door and the other side. Oh, okay, because I wanted to do a strength throw and just, you know, grab him through the wall and pull him out. Mm. See if it was possible. But since, I don't have to. Did you retract your grappling wire from the blade dance that you were fighting? No, but I should, shouldn't I? Actually. She's, uh, she's all frozen, right? She can't even move? Well, she's mostly frozen and no longer has the will to fight. All right, let me just tie the... Actually, in here. Let me just disconnect the cord and just give it a drive. Here, hold on to this. Uh, wait, why are you giving this to me? Hold on real tight. Make sure she doesn't do anything funny. If she, it's if she moves an inch, just tug. As hard as you can. Wait, actually, no, not too hard because you're going to sever her head. As you keep... <laughs> As you keep changing what you are trying to get out, she just takes her staff, the point it into her staff, and she attaches the wire to that, and she just sticks it in the ground. Oh yeah, that works too. Huh. You know that... You know, that cord could make a really good electrical conductor. You know, food for thought in case she does anything funny. Yeah, she will. Sometimes, just sometimes, you kind of freak me out. Oh, uh, trust me. If he, trust me, I am the nicest of of all the Eidolons. The Eidol, the rest of them will glass a whole planet. I won't. Mm-hmm. And she she mutters under her breath. Oh, well, I've seen you glass enough people, so I guess that means something. Alright, let's deal with you. Spend an action getting beside him. Uh, do keep in mind, uh, he is hard fixated on Perry. And so are his little specters that he summoned. Right. Okay then, in that case, because I love Perry's character very much and I don't want her to die. <laughs> Gee, uh, where is it? Here you go. Have an energy shield. Uh, Perry, what is your current health? I'm Should be full. full. Yeah, I'm full. Uh, what's your full health? 1,190. Alright. Alright, time to conduct an experiment. It doesn't specify... If it uses regular ammunition, I'm going to do my bullet dance again, but I'm going to use special ammo this time. Okay. So, uh, since you are a machine, I'm not going to use poison because that would be a waste. Though, I feel like burning your internals. All right, I'm only gonna do this once because I don't want to burn all of my fire three bullets. One, two, three, uh, four, and five. Okay, and I'm using the fire three bullets. Uh huh. So that's my one action. Let me subtract these bullets. Wait, it says 50 on the other side. Why does it say 50 on the other side instead of the... Never mind. I'll fix that later. Okay. Let's see. Uh, what is your... Uh, your magic attack stat? 
That would be magic attack? Uh, that would be... No, that's my MP. Uh, 110. Not much. Alright. Not good with magic. I don't believe in magic. Okay. I was telling one of my uh, friends about the D and D campaign, and then he told me, "Yo, yo, you should turn your character into a magical girl." And I'm uh, like, "Oh, fuck. <laughs> now I'm conflicted." Right, you... Imagine a Mako Shojin. You have dealt uh, one thousand six hundred seventy-two damage to the enemy, and with one action, holy shit! Yeah, with with one action. I'm going to go ahead and reflect that now, because after doing that, it, after it was struck by the last bullet, it very briefly shut down, and the next thing you hear is magical opposition destruction sequence commenced. Oh. And there is now currently a 50 second timer above the enemy's head. Ah, a self destruct sequence. Classic. How many actions does it take for the 50 seconds to go out? Uh, each action will consume 5 seconds worth of time. And before you do anything else, I will be right back. I have to step away for a very quick moment. Well, fuck. Do we run? Have you done all your actions? No, I still have... I still have... Uh, you have let's three, see. Right? I, one action was for moving. Second action was to give you a sh protection because, oh, you know, yeah. you're kind of squishy. Third action was the attack. Okay, I got two more actions to attack, so I could take out 2,000 of his HP. Or try. Yeah. Or, better yet, I'm gonna toss this motherfucker at the edge of the map. We're at the ghost. Well, he's probably gonna try to chase my ass down with the fucking destruction. That I'm poison gonna, ghost I'm gonna teleport a away. Scary. True. Uh, it's okay, I could cure poison. Or any, uh, stati status. What's it called? Status ailments? Mm -hmm. So, let's think. Because we're gonna have to think this like a group. I was hoping you would grab the spiky droid at the end and just slam them to people. No. This guy is a bigger problem right now. I took out the annoying sniper, so yeah. to give us room to maneuver around. The guy can kill me in two hits. I am returned. Welcome. Yeah, Hello. yeah. You you are lucky that you barely dodged that. I know. So, yeah, mm. dexterity at least. Now I want to know if a shining word is strong enough to contain an explosion. Um. Contain an explosion. Yeah. Because if I place a shining word on him, it's just the the explosive radius is only going to be 15 feet. Well, to that, I am going to say uh, nothing can get in the barrier, but things sure as fuck can get out of the barrier. And the more damage that the barrier takes, the less resistant it'll be to things coming in. So basically, he That's not gonna be protecting work. it. <laughs> mm. Alright. I'm gonna tank the explosion then. Okay. I'm gonna 
place a shiny word on myself. Okay. Yeah. Okay, just... Okay. Okay, I'm not even going to cast it. Just pre just pretend I cast it. I'm just going to place my HP value and stuff on. Okay. Give me... Give me a second. I have to do that quick. Did it. Dudes, 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 dudes. Nope, wrong number. Anyways, what are you guys planning to do? I'll let you die. <laughs> Damn. I'm glad we were thinking the same thing. No. <laughs> um... Wow, okay. Because these guys have the greatest teammates. are targeting me. I'm probably just going to try to lead him over to Wait, a corner. it's magical damage? Say it again? The explosion is magic, right? Yes. Wait, 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 wait. I have something for this. King might not be dead. Yeah. Joshua, you might be saved. Explosion is not going to kill me. I'll tell you that no, now. I could nullify it. Can you? I'm pretty sure my crystal. <laughs> Why is it changing that color? Oh, there's two. Stupid game. There's two settings. There you go. My diamond bagel. You can cast a protective barrier over yourself. Oh, that's only for myself. Damn it. I don't know. I don't think Riku's gonna allow you to throw that item at me. Uh, I think you may all... Wait, I don't know if I have that on me. Oh, but, um... I'm not going to say no to that. Oh, no, I have one on me. Okay. A diamond shell cast protective barrier over yourself that will nullify one magic attack at cost 100 MP. Just grab him and <laughs> cast that before you grab him and just hold on to him so he can't move. Alright, so I'm gonna grab him and put us at the back of the room and and I'm gonna deadlock hold him. Skill active? Yeah, with that skill active. Here, let me remove uh, 100 MP. I'm pretty sure you would need a strength roll to push him into the back. Yeah, yeah well... You're pretty much like yanking on dude. So I'm gonna need a, a pretty sick, nasty strength roll from you. Oh, what a twenty! Oh, I, I didn't say a twenty. But... Uh... but you better hope that it is. <laughs> also, uh, through you casting Shining Ward, the counter has dropped from fifty to forty-five. Yeah. Pretty good. But is it good enough? <laughs> is it really good? Yeah, he, he beat my roll by one, so wow. he passes. <laughs> um, so you grab him, you pull him in a room, you hit Diamond Shell, so that's another 15 seconds gone. So now the countdown timer is at 30. And the lower... <clears throat> The lower the countdown gets, the brighter the machine begins to glow. And I'm assuming that is the remainder the remainder of your turn. Uh Can I spend the rest of my turn squeezing harder and harder, like increasing my grip? Uh Wait, wasn't that your last two skills? Because he he did, he did okay, so bullet one... dance. He did shining ward, bullet dance. But as okay. the bullet dance was taking place, uh, that was when the counter showed up. So from there, he grabbed him. That was five seconds. Pulled him into the room. That was another five. And then the in the diamond shell. So that was yeah. That was uh, another three actions. And that, that, that constitutes the five. Okay. Oh, let me, let me move that for you. 
All right. So well, this guy, this guy shining bright, brighter, and Yashua comments at him saying, "I've seen scrap metal shine brighter than you." <laughs> All right. Person is Perry. Uh, it is now Perry's turn. Um, is he in like a room? Uh, a robot guy. Yeah. So where it was standing okay. prior to being moved, it was blocking an entrance. Okay, I'm gonna run over and go inside this room. Oh wait, but I have to wait for their turn. Fuck, I wanna bring those two guys inside of the room as little ghosties, because I know that they're targeting me. I'm hoping that they'll chase me. Um... Crap, I don't think, I think that it's gonna blow up before it'll get to their turn. Well, if you choose to like finalize this movement action, the counter will go down from 30 to 25. Um, well, I want to get them in the room and then teleport out, <laughs> essentially. Oh, okay. Um... I just, I don't, I think the timer's gonna run out before I, it'll get back to me being able to teleport out if they're not moving now. So, maybe I won't do that. because <laughs> I don't want to be in that motherfucker when it explodes. The real question is, can we grapple those ghosties? Oh, yeah, that w yeah, I could grapple them inside right now. Uh... Mm. I guess I'll try to reach out and see if I can touch the dog. <laughs> pet, pet the dog. Not the other guy, because he's got can poison. Can we just grapple them and throw them in the room? Well, to that, I'm going to say that Perry can physically touch the wolf-like creature. She cannot touch the ghost-like creature. Henry cannot touch the ghost wolf. But it can touch the other thing. Yeah, it's going to blow up before I can even get a movement in. <laughs> and as far as yeah. your idea of goading them in there, uh, you may roll once intimidation or, oh, no. or, or persuasion to get them to chase you inside. <laughs> the chains are both going to be horrible. I wish I could just step uh, out from the uh, side and just scare them with the other. <laughs> I, I rolled a one. You win. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Ain't, that was so bad. Ain't that some shit? I rolled a fucking one. All right. In that case, yeah, I'm gonna. Now you know how it feels, Riku. <laughs> I'm gonna try to come as far back as I can to give them room to uh, chase. Well, given that they are uh, ghost types, they do just like phase through the wall. Oh, those motherfuckers! Oh, um, uh, let me turn them around. Does my does my um the shikuchi shikushi shikuchi I don't know shikuchi. <laughs> <laughs> does Funny word. I'm I'm a toddler. Uh, it does, does that allow go you. Walls? Yeah, it does allow you to phase <laughs> through walls. Okay, that's what I need to know. Uh, with that, then I hope it'll just fucking. How many seconds are left now? Uh. I don't know how many uh, it took me to get inside. Uh, you took you one to get inside, so the counter is now at twenty-five seconds. Um. Uh. And how many moves do I have left? You have four. Uh, three. Oh, four. Okay. Yeah. With that, then I'm gonna uh. Do you have any attacks that bind them in place? I do not know. Uh, let me see. I don't think so. I have turn still though. I could still do turns potentially. I'm gonna try to turn still both of them. Okay, so I will say that the the 18 is successful, the 11 is not, and given the circumstances, you steal the turn of the ghastly creature, 
and instead of the timer going down from 25 to 20, it remains at 25. Oh, so you have fuck. so you have one more action you can do before the countdown will continue. Oh shit, I was trying to have the countdown go down. <laughs> fuck. Uh, I'm just gonna fucking teleport out. <laughs> I'm gonna teleport back into this corner, I guess. I think that's like 15, right? Can me and Drava do a combo attack here? Mm, depending Lock on- the room in with Oops, earth so magic so they can't get out. Uh, ho hold that thought. Ignore I, my pedal burst. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um... So you teleport back out of the room, and now the countdown has continued moving from 20 to 25 to 20. I was hoping I could get it down to like five seconds or some shit. I mean, you that still have. Time to chase me. You still have three actions left. Oh, I thought I ha I thought it was out. No, you moved in. Wait, you moved inside, and then you used turn steel. And turn still prevented the, the timer from moving. And then you moved... Okay, you moved out, so you have two actions left. Oh, fuck. Okay, I've completely fucked my turn. I was horribly mistaken. Uh... Well, fuck. I guess, I, I guess I'm doing nothing. Uh, so or rather, I guess I'll go over to this person All right. I don't know how many moves uh, you have you well you now have one action left and the countdown is now at uh, 10 seconds you can choose to end your turn at any given moment oh, okay um, I'll just hit this person I guess because they're probably gonna still want to fight uh. Okay. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just fucking warp strike this guy. I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, and, I, and I'm stealing shit from him too. <laughs> Give me your fucking lunch money. <laughs> uh, okay. I completely fucked this turn. Oh my god. <laughs> so you deal. This uh... comes out to that. Uh, for the gill you steal, you steal 283 gill. And as for the damage you <gasps> dealt, oh, excuse me, uh, you did 180. And the countdown is now at 5 seconds. And before I start talking about Draver's turn, what is the combo action that you were uh, considering wanting to do, Henry? the room with uh, magic stones so they can't come out because they could just phase through normal rock right uh like normal yeah like norm normal regular life form constructs they can just move through that's why i wanted to put magical rock around it with spikes okay so can't come out yeah okay and since it's contained, it would probably do more damage to them instead of blasting out of the room. Alright, um... So you communicate that to Draper through shouting, I believe? Since your communicators are still down? I'm going to shoot Jolt at her communicator from where I am. And charge it up okay so if you're gonna do that as a reminder one of the communicators is in each of your ears the other one is connected to your uh, dominant hands pocket so which one are you aiming at so mine would be I don't know which hand Drave is dominant with her left left so it would be left uh, her left pocket. Okay. Second, I have cast jolt, right? Uh huh. Jolt. 
All right. So you fire that off, and she just notices it. She notices it at the last possible second, and with her communicator very quickly charged up. Uh, I'm assuming you're relaying the plan to her as quickly as you can. Let's chamber up the room with bike rocks. Okay. So they can't get out. Without, without a single question, she agrees and does spike at the wall. I think my mouse just died there. Uh-oh. -uh. <laughs> There's some mess versus your headset. Now your mouse? No, my mouse has batteries, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Right, and as <clears throat> as the corridor is closed out, and the stone walls are up and preventing the uh, ghastly creatures from escaping, the countdown reaches zero and the the cyborg century glows as 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 bright as it could possibly get damn near blindingly bright and it begins to shake the room inside begins to shake. The ground itself begins to shake. And as it glows just a little bit brighter, instead of an explosion taking place, it disintegrates where it stands. And left in its wake of where a bunch of bolts and dustings and all that should be there is a portal on the floor and a wide array of many different colors and such come forth from that portal and a beam, almost as if that beam is sentient, begins to come forth and locate a target of where it could choose to land. And then from there, the beams stop and another flash of light takes place and as that light is beginning to dissipate the only thing you hear is the following I need That's all scary. of you to roll a D100. Oh my god. D100. Mm-hmm. Let's hope uh, the bulbs to roll low. Flash R D100. Oh god. Oh fuck. Oh my god. No! <laughs> but guys, don't you know you're supposed to roll really low? <laughs> I've oh. rolled low way too many times. It's gotta be cursed. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a shield on, right? <laughs> so, once that happens, and as it is happening, you can see energy slashes almost as if the air itself is being sliced 
and at an alarmingly fast rate. Oh, what the and, fuck? Are we fighting Virgil now? And once you hear all that come to an end, you feel your energy sapped from you, and Perry, reduce your current health and MP by 20%. Ah. Yashua, 87%. Oh. <laughs> Henry, 81%. Yes. Wait, reduce our health by that much? Your health and your MP. 81%. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. god. Guys, don't you know you're supposed to roll low? <laughs> <laughs> well, last I checked, high rolls are good rolls. What the fuck? Fuck you guys. Thank God. Oh my God. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna do this. I'm still sitting pretty, honestly. I am sorry for the, uh... PTSD of the Kingdom Hearts critical I hate you. boys. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing that came to mind. Damn. Wait, I forgot how to fucking subtract this again. Uh, your health and all that stuff? Yeah. I Google it. <laughs> uh, That's right, I'm gonna do that. Wait, how much are you at? Two hundred and forty six. Oh, HP. I'm at I'm at nine hundred and fifty two HP. Alright, I gotta do Drake with stuff. You need to play you. some support, dude. <laughs> Better start healing. <laughs> Wait, did you guys lock the ghost like inside the room somehow? Yeah. <laughs> so he's locked in there with them and he's got no HP. <laughs> You know, he did say he was yeah, part of the sacrifice. Yeah, one choice, Rick. Jump in the portal. <laughs> Literally. Well, uh... You're locked in that room with two ghosts. That portal is, a uh, It's a one-way deal. Because after that oh. series of, um... Slashing or whatnot take place. And after you all heard the You Shall Die. It closed up. And it is no longer there. Well, maybe they won't focus on you because they're supposed to be focused Damn. on me. So maybe That's a lot of HP I lost. Tell me about it. <laughs> God, 87%. Uh, Were you at full HP? Oh, yeah. Well, that's good, at least. He was at full HP plus the extra hunch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well. This whole fight, I took zero damage until... Virgil decided to judgment cut the place. <laughs> and so, after all of that has taken place, the figure that you see before you looks to be all too familiar. Ow. And when the figure brings itself to a standing position you come to realize that it is the last person that you wanted to see as an enemy uh, of course what stands before you is a demonic half-android, half-creature that does not belong in this plane of existence. And you see an amalgamation of Lion, Mel, and Ice 
all standing before you. If I can just get the things on the map. So is that health reduction permanent or can we heal it off? Oh, of course you can heal it off. I'm not that mean. Okay. <laughs> It's the traitor. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, one one is KIA. One's a traitor. The other one just, I don't know, left. And the other enemies that are in the area vanish from sight. Uh, they are considered dead, however. Save for the popsicle prisoner of yours and as your once former comrades begin to draw their weapons you get the feeling that this is going to be a an extremely dangerous and hard fought battle before you and you can hear Drava scream at the top of her lungs in primal fear of the sight before her. And with that, session will end for today. Fuck me, man. We're at like a boss battle. Everyone's dying. I'm scared. It's okay, you got a barrier. <laughs> for what, three turns? <laughs> Two now? <laughs>